So we like to do a lot of project-based learning here um, and one project that we really like is a mass trap car because it incorporates a lot of the fall semester units at the beginning of the spring. And so we've kind of come back from Christmas. We're a little bit, you know, sleepy and tired and we're not really into going back to school anymore. So we kind of jump into this unit right after we finish Momentum. Um, and what we do is we provide them with all of their basic materials that they need, um, including the mousetrap and the bases and all of the different axles and wheels and things, um, any special parts they provide on their own. Um, but we basically tell them your mousetrap has to go 15 feet and, or your mousetrap car has to go 15 feet. And the only thing that you can use to power that mousetrap, the only potential energy that you can harness is stored in the spring on the actual mousetrap. So we don't let them use fans, we don't let them use motors, we don't let them propel it in any other way besides using the actual mousetrap. So it's really a good way to get like students hand on, hands on really building things kind of for the first time in this class and putting together, I guess, the engineering aspect of physics with what they're learning in class with momentum and transfer of energy and stuff like that. Um, so we spend about a week building and going through the process of designing and changing your design and uh, modifying and then actually testing the project uh, multiple times leading up to that and so that's really where students I think learn the importance of the scientific process and really kind of seeing that for themselves maybe for the first time in some ways and so it's really cool to see kids get um, really engaged I guess with the content. super fun. Um, one thing that I really enjoy about this project is this is for be, being a female myself, the first time I used power tools was in my AP physics class. And so um, seeing a lot of these girls that have never had a drill or a saw or um, any type of power tool in their hands and being able to use it and being comfortable with it is really impactful for me. Um, and just in general, a lot of them haven't built anything with their hands. And so seeing that they made something from scratch with like duct tape and nails and wood and plastic um, and that actually functions as like a moving vehicle is really really cool so that's that's the part that I really like is kids seeing that they can make something with their own hands and they didn't need you know a 3d printer or they didn't need a full you know sophisticated tool shop or anything like that so that's super fun Oh, it's really fun. Uh, definitely kids get frustrated when things don't work out how they want, um, but it's really cool and you can watch them. So they get so excited running in in the morning, Miss Gal, like, it's finally working, it's perfect. And so that moment for them is really important and something I think they'll take with them. Like, right